guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, let me introduce myself. I am Oshika and today's video is my skincare routine. So I got a request on my first video from one of my subscribers asking me to make a video on my skincare routine and that's why I thought why not, let's do it. That's why I have prepared this video for you all so you all know what exactly I do for my skin. Note, if you all have any video request, do not hesitate to let me know it. You all can either comment it down in the comment box or you can message me on my Instagram. The link to my Instagram will be given in the description box below. So do not hesitate and let me know. So without further delays, let's get into the video. So in this video, there are going to be three parts. Firstly, I'm going to explain your different skin types. There are five types of skins. I will explain you about that. Then I'll explain you all about my skincare routine and then I'll show you all exactly how it goes. So the five different skin types are oily, dry, combination, normal and sensitive. In sensitive we have oily, like sensitive oily, sensitive dry, sensitive combination. But these are the five major skin types that is oily, dry, combination, normal and sensitive. As of me, my skin type is sensitive. I have an extremely sensitive skin. How do I know that I have an extremely sensitive skin is because if I use any products, almost 99.9% .9 of products, whichever I've used to now, I am allergic to all products. When you know your skin starts acting, reacting negatively to products, you will know that your skin is sensitive to particular products. As of me, it's sensitive to almost all products. That's why I need to be very careful with whatever products I use. That's why I do not use makeup like you all can notice in my videos. So that was all for part one where I told you all the five types of skin. And now let us head to part two. In part two, I'll be showing you all my skincare routine and my hair care routine. About hair care routine, I'll give you all a detailed hair care routine in my further videos. This video is going to be mainly about skincare. That's why I do not, you know, cover up more about hair care in this video. So I've actually created notes so that I do not miss any point out like you all can see. I've created some notes. For my skincare routine, my morning routine and night routine is exactly the same. What I do is I use my face wash. I use some rose water and then I apply my gel. Face wash and gel was given to me by my dermatologist. Like I told her, I have an extremely sensitive skin and it's really hard for me to, you know, use any products. That's why I always listen to what my dermatologist says to me. Apart from that, I apply some tomato, sometimes tomato scrub and ice. Okay, let me explain it to you. Like I told my morning, and night routine is exactly the same. That's face wash, rose water, and then my gel. Whereas every day before I go to have bath, at least 15 minutes before, I cut a tomato into half and apply it on my face. I let it dry for like 15 minutes to the most 15 minutes. Actually, it will dry within 15 minutes. And after that, I go and have my bath. I wash it with lukewarm water. That's all. Apart from that, twice a week, what I do is, Instead of just using, you know, tomato, I cut the tomato into half, like always itself, cut the tomato into half, dip it in some sugar, and then I scrub my face. I use it as a scrub. It's a tomato sugar scrub. I use it, it will remove your dead skin cells, your blackheads and stuff. The days which I use tomato scrub after bath, I use an ice and rub it all over my face. I normally use ice, most of them, not just two days. I do use eyes like at least three four times a week and I'll tell you all why do I do that also apart from that every time I have to go out or like if I feel tired if I want to get freshened up I use a cleanser and wash my face the cleanser I use why do I use it is because it's a very mild cleanser and it does not you know give any kind of irritability and stuff it does not you know lead to any itching so it's very mild and that's why I use that cleanser now I'll tell you all the uses of tomato. In today's video, you may find me a bit confused most of the times because you all might have noticed in my previous two videos I did not do a lot of talking, but today I am doing it. That's why I'm a bit nervous. So really very sorry if you know it sounds a bit awkward and stuff. I'm really very sorry for that. So yeah, the uses of tomato. Firstly, tomato reduces oiliness and it prevents and treats acne. It also gives you a very youthful glow because it will be removing all your dead skins and when you use your tomato scrub it will also remove your blackheads. Tomato 
also can be used as a natural sun protector and it also treats sunburns. It also, you know, uh, reduces your pores. Everyone's skin has pores and it also, you know, reduces them. It like tightens them up. Be it people with oily skin, dry skin, combination sensitive, all skin types can use tomato. Maybe there are like few people who are allergic to it, but you'll get to know within one use. Like if you have irritability when you use like after you apply within a few minutes, you'll get to know whether you know it's um, like leading to itchiness, whether you feel irritated by using it, like your skin feels kind of weird. If that happens, please wash it out immediately. Do not continue using it. But most of the cases, it does not happen. Most of the people, even like people with the more sensitive skin can use it. Because I am one of the examples for it. Now coming to eyes. Why, you know, you need to apply eyes on your face? Firstly, because it tightens your skin. It tightens your pores. It minimizes the appearance of those pores. Just like how tomato tightens your pores, it minimizes the appearance of those pores. It also reduces redness and fluffiness of your face. Like after you use tomato scrub, obviously your skin is going to look a bit red, right? Because scrub, 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 scrub. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> So it will reduce the redness and the fluffiness as well. It improves collagen production and it also improves your blood circulation. Remember, it improves your collagen production and it also improves your blood circulation. Then lastly, it delays early signs of aging. How does it do that? Let me explain it to you. When your pores and all get tightened up, obviously you know wrinkles and all will get reduced. Your skin will be like perfect, it'll be tight, it won't be loose, that time you won't get wrinkles easily. So that's how it will reduce or delay your early signs of aging. So rose water, why do I use rose water? It has antioxidants, just three points, I'll just tell you three points. It has antioxidants, it reduces irritation and infections. So that's why I use rose water. Next, for my genuals here I have dark circles. I don't know whether it's visible, but I have dark circles. I normally don't do anything about it. But you know, if I know there is a party or program that I have to attend, one week before that, what I start doing is I apply potato juice on the this area. I apply potato juice just like one week before any party or program, or else I do not do anything about it because you know dark circles are really common. I don't feel there's an actual need to you know hide them. So why do we use potato juice? Potato juice has vitamin C in it and it helps in reducing the fluffiness in the eye area. You get it? It reduces the fluffiness in this area. Next, what do I do about my lip dryness and stuff? Very simple, I apply petroleum jelly. I do not do anything else. I just apply petroleum jelly. So I guess I have covered all my points. I hope you even understood what exactly I'm trying to explain. Hope I did not complicate it much. So now let us head to part three. Okay, last but not the least, I guess I forgot to, you know, film it in my second part. So last but not the least, do not forget to drink enough water. Not at any cost. Drink enough water. It's very, very, very necessary, not just for your body, but also for your skin. Drinking enough water has a lot of benefits, not just for your body, for your skin. If I go to start, you know, telling its benefits, so it's going to be like a big list. So do not forget to drink enough water because maybe that's one of the main things because I drink at least, at least three liters of water every single day be it like when it's chilly weather or whether it's warm weather my body requires three liters of water i drink three liters of water how to know how much water you need to drink every 20 kg needs one liter of water so if your weight is like 60 kg you need to drink three liters of water that doesn't mean that if your weight is 100 kg you need to drink five liters of water it's not like that you need to understand how much water your body requires and drink according to that Hello guys, so now we have reached part 3 of this video. Here I'll be showing all the products that I use. So first one is my face wash. Can you see it? It's Clindac A face wash. It's a foaming face wash. It has salicylic acid, glycolic acid and aloe vera in it. It was recommended to me by my dermatologist. I'll just show you all how it is. I just take two pumps. You can see, it's foaming. Okay, so I wash my face. Now all you need to do is take a clean towel or else you can use a tissue as well. Always see to it that you will keep a separate towel for yourself itself. Like no one should use that. Only you should use it only to wipe your face. It's my towel. Don't rub, just done. Change your towel every two days at least. After two uses, just change it. Next thing, my rose water. For this I use the Dabur Gulabri Premium Rose Water. All you need to do is take a bit in your hand. Just 
and dab dab dab. When you do this motion, when you dab on your face, it increases the blood circulation. Don't hit your face, just like apply it. Okay, so I dried. Now the next thing, that's the last thing that I do every morning and night is my gel. This gel is of the same brand or company as my face wash. It's just, you know, my face wash is like an antibacterial and uh, anti pimple face wash. And this gel is also the same thing. It's antibacterial and anti pimple face wash. I mean, gel. All you need to do is take a bit of it. And then rub it on your face. You do not need to wash your face after applying this, just leave it. Now I'm going to show you how to apply tomato and tomato scrub to your face. Firstly, I have cut a tomato into two halves. You need to cut it like this. I'm going to use one half for my normal tomato. Like, I told I apply tomato for that. And second one will be for tomato scrub. And I have some sugar with me, if you can see. First for normal, you just need to take the part and scrub it this way. Just apply it nicely. Apply till all its juice is on your face. All you can also do is you can squeeze the juice into a bowl and then apply it on your face. I prefer just applying it this way. I guess you can hear some tick 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 sound. That's my clock. I'm really very sorry. Once all the juice is applied to your face, just let it dry for like 10 to 15 minutes. Within that time, it's going to dry. And once it's dry, just use normal lukewarm water and wash your face. Nothing more is needed. It's that simple. Now, coming to our second, that's the tomato scrub. Let me show you. I'll just wash this and back. Now, for this, all you need to do is take your tomato, the other half, dip it. You can see? And apply it on your face. It's going to be a little messy. Let me tell you all before and it's going to be really messy. But trust me, it's going to help you do so. Need to do and apply it till all the juices you know applied. Not just that, also all the sugar must not like completely melt, but it should melt at least a bit. Okay. Actually, even you can do this. See, I'm squeezing all its juice. And then I'm going to mix the sugar well. Now I can apply only using my hand. In scrub using my hand. Like how we use the normal chemical scrubs, chemical scrubs or those which we get outside. Do not be harsh, gently rub it. Don't like rub it very harsh, just be very gentle. This area, most of them will have like blackheads and stuff. So just, you know, concentrate on that area. This is like a natural scrub, no chemicals, nothing. That's why this is like something I would recommend anyway. Every time I get like my friends asking me like what do you do for pimples and stuff, I just tell them I don't do. This stick was told to me by my mom and I've been using it ever since. It's been like three years, four years that I've been using this. I know pimples are normal during this age. But you know, when you have such a nice method to, you know, get rid of them. Why not? I won't tell it to work for all, but it surely does work. It works for most of the people. that's how it's done. Now the last thing that I have to show you all is how do you use ice on your face. Let me show it. Okay, so yeah, I have an ice cube with me. I know you all are going to be so cold, but I've already told you all the benefits. All you do is very simple. Take, apply. Okay, Right now, I see on your face. That's all. Till it melts, you're going to apply. You're done. You're like this. Not wash your face, just wipe it. 
so that's all for today's video i hope you like today's video and if you like today's video what are you waiting for go do like share comment and subscribe to my channel and look forward to more such videos if you have any video request do not hesitate to you know comment it down below just let me know i'll see to it that i try my level best to you know uh, do all the videos that you have requested thank you for watching today's video bye